lyrical lashing where insults turn into wordplay. After the strike, you strike again. We go inside the world of battle rap. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Got a lot of new merchandise up there. Free shipping for everything that's over $100. Dope quality. Got a lot of, got the FTK. Sorry, I was watching Battle Rap. <laughs> The Rice Gang revamp logo and a lot of, it's hoodie season coming, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to everybody out there that has purchased. Some orders went out yesterday. We're going to send some more out today and we got a couple more to get out. But uh, we working, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to Chrome23. They went over 100,000 subscribers. More so because, you know, obviously they're a good league. They've been working. Remy's been putting together events for quite some time. I hear the flag, I'm gonna I'm speak on all things here, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do as a breakdown every round that I've sketched out. Um, she just had her event, I do what I want, and uh, she did what she wanted, and now she, you're getting what you wanted. When I look at this, because a lot of people are um, talking about the hit, the easy to, the, well the Hitman battle obviously, but now the easy to block Captain versus Gigi Gotti battle. With the viral third round that's made it everywhere from the Breakfast Club to Shade Room, DJ Academics, Tasha K, uh, DJ Ghost. I'm talking about these are some say cheese. These are some of the biggest media outlets in the world. See, the thing is, y'all say battle rap media is bad. Y'all said battle rap media is no good. This is all the things you said. I see in these comments for years and years and years. Battle rap media. The bloggers did this. The bloggers did that. Now we just sit back and watch mainstream media treat you niggas like y'all don't even exist. Basically, when they talking about the rumors. They call it. They call it easy to help. Uh, the two B pad pool. Like they going in. They don't even. They don't even count y'all. They don't. They don't even recognize y'all. So through all of this uh, clout chasing and everything going on in the media, I hope that y'all will get a better appreciation for us that actually break down battles, actually know about the battles, actually know the MCs, the bars, and can facilitate the sport. These guys come in, they don't care about y'all. They don't care about nothing you got going on. They think you get paid $200 a battle in a Subway sandwich. That's how the world feels about y'all. So I'm just letting you know, you know, you do have content here that actually knows about the bars, actually breaks them down, actually is invested in the battle rap culture, not just here for a viral moment. But let's talk about the viral moment, man. So Geechee got his third round. Obviously, everybody pretty knows, much knows. He talked to Remy Ma like that, like talk to her. With the hitman, I put you with the best schools, had you with the best shoes. Didn't want to get stepped to by some dude that you knocked down and stood over like a step stool. I done heard the round so much, I damn near know this shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pat Poos, that's how you talk to your chick. That that hit in the building. I'm not gonna hold you. He it was a soul talking around. It was, but I know Remy. Um, I you know through the business and things like that. She's from the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx too. I know about how she moves, she's always said shit like that through the industry and how she's built her name and things like that. But this is a nasty room. When you got Loaded Lux and Murder Mook and all of the top people that's running around saying it. Can't you fuck no easy to block cat then, bro? Listen, bro, but listen, if it didn't happen, if it didn't Remy happen. did not you bug me. fuck no listen. easy to block cat. Listen, if it didn't happen, nigga, just to, to, to be quiet, tell you why to be quiet, fucking. that's looking crazy. Yo, bro, hey, back, hold crazy. up. But, bro, but, but look, as a legal on this, you can't say nothing. They didn't fuck. No easy. That, you know, whatever's, well, they don't know what's going on, and if this nigga easy was the side nigga, I'ma just say it like this. Let me start here. I'm going to start it like this. <laughs> if he went from her to Remy Ma, he is officially the smartest nigga in battle history. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. And I don't give a fuck. So, uh, if he went from her... <laughs> Woo! Boy, if you did that, if you really pulled that shit off, <laughs> I still got the female. If you still got... Nigga, shit, that's like... That's like going from undrafted, Mr. Relevant, to Brock Purdy, nigga, to winning the fucking Super Bowl. But, obviously, in, in all seriousness, you know what I'm saying, you got families involved, you got people's 
public consumption and all of that shit involved. And you got a brand of the business that you're running, you know what I'm saying? So from that perspective, and then you got Easy going live with Verb, and there's Remy Ma audio in the car, is she in the car, is he tech? Like all of this shit is just way too much. I think they should just come out. If y'all together, come out. Look, Swiss Beats, what, what's the fucking bitch name? Um, not Alicia, not that bitch. The Mashonda, that nigga was married to Mashonda, and Swiss Beats took that nigga, I mean, Alicia Keys took that nigga from her in broad daylight. If y'all together, let the world know, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, period. Like, if that's what you like, it is what it is. If y'all together, but it's the thing is where, you know, everybody's doing the rumors, and, and nowadays the lie is more entertaining than the truth, so they just gonna run with the lie. The internet don't give a fuck. <laughs> If the internet said it happened, it happened. That's just the way life goes. And I think that, you know, uh, something could have been said. Because, I, you know what I'm thinking? And this is my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because people ask my personal opinion. I talk about battles. I break down battles. Yes, do I be cool? I be cool with certain battles and people like that. But I still have a job to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, my job don't give a fuck about who I'm cool with, who I worked with. Who's, my job don't care about that, you know what I'm saying? My kids don't care about that either. We have to talk about the subjects in a tactful manner and break down battle rap. She had an event. She knew what Geechee Gotti was coming with. They, I don't feel no way about it. They're not oblivious. Did you sign Geechee Gotti to come? Did you see Mike P's? Did you see him versus Mike P? If you saw him versus Mike P, you should know that he's capable of this. This is not something that he's incapable of. Um, I do feel like it's probably the most viral moment in battle rap history because they were playing it on Power 105, Broad Daylight. Like literally in the middle of the afternoon, they're playing a the whole round from Geechee Gotti. There's no other battle rapper that's been um, played this much, that's been spoke about this much. Fox called me for him. They don't call me for any, any, like when I get artists and things up there, I'll make the connections and I'll throw the names back to the network and it's got to make sense and we talk about who our guests are going to be and it makes sense for what we got going on. But Geechee Gotti, no, they called me, but yo, yo, you know him? <laughs> yo, you know him? Yes, man, that's my man. He did my intro back in the day, and I feel like, well, I feel like you need to get him the fuck here. I said, you know what? Gotti, we bringing you. I want you one nigga, which is Gotti, one nigga, one nigga, right? One nigga Gotti. Get, get, let's get it clear so you hear. One nigga Gotti could bring two niggas that brought four niggas that brought more niggas, you know what I'm saying? This is when Gotti showed up. He got the whole motherfucking city of uh, Compton with him, you know what I'm saying? Nutty Block. So this Nutty Block, this Gotti, he gonna bring the whole squad with him, but, you know, at the, at the, at the, uh, at the, at the networks, you know what I'm saying? We gotta keep this keep this model up here. But shout out to my brother Jagichi Gotti, you know what I'm saying? His, his round went viral. Everybody talking about it. Breakfast Club has it. Rumor report. And everything else, you know? But, uh, Chrome 23 need to release the battle. Put that battle out. They need to put that shit out today. What are we waiting for? At this point, we wasting, you sitting on millions right now. And if it would've came out Tuesday, Wednesday, that shit be at like two, three million views right now. I definitely think that joint had the power and still has the power to do millions of views. Gonna get subscribers. You got an anniversary card coming up. <laughs> Y'all still gonna be, if you're still in the business, if you're still in the business, you gotta conduct business, you know what I'm saying? I know. Um, but I do have um, the movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm young Vida Scorsese. We got another movie coming out. We did the one for Maxar. We did one for Chrome. If the battle's not out, we putting the movie out. The movie, if the movie was done, that shit would be out already. Trust me, it's been. When I say just go, it's just go. Right? That's all I know. All I know is go. Check. Uh. Started off like the theme song of power Connect hit my phone, I have them gone in an hour A nigga still dripping, I ain't dry from my shower I know some real niggas Finishing the rendering and things like that So I think the battle could be being finished up, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna rush it, you know what I'm saying? I know I will be having three, four different camera angles and shit like that So they be having a lot of stuff But the movie that we did, the documentary shit, it will be out When I get the link from my man Scrap, I'm dropping that shit ASAP So if, it come, if he sent it to me today, I'm dropping it today uh, but what does it do for Chrome? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I fuck with Chrome. You know what I'm saying? Chrome's a good company. You know what I'm saying? They did good business with me. Uh, had me, Farah, SP, Shuni up there and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was a great experience to be around them and to work with them. Uh, I would say for them, like, the public consumption thing, like, are these niggas really fucking around? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm looking at it like, God, are these niggas in a relationship? And if they are, why aren't they letting the world know? You know what I'm saying? Is that the world tour or your girl tour? Dum, 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 
Huh? Is that the world call or your girl call? I want shit. Invite me. If y'all niggas gonna be together, invite me to the motherfucking function. Nigga, I come through nah, seriously, on some real shit. Uh, it's a lot of reaction from niggas from New York, because quite obviously, Pap is from New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been hearing about him since the thugger, thugger, thuggercation days, alphabetical slaughter. They said there's a bunch of niggas riding around with Tim Boots. <laughs> Bunch of niggas riding around with Timberland boots on in Philly, man, and, and Long John t-shirts and fucking uh, army jackets and shit with uh, fitted caps that are too big, you know what I'm saying? So if you see a bunch of them niggas riding around Philly, they're going to be looking, <laughs> looking for you easy. They want to have a conversation with you. I'm just fucking with you, man. Uh, but I do feel like they need to drop the battle. Drop that shit. You got a viral round. A viral round. You know how hard it is to get a viral round in this sport? Drop that sh And the main reason why they need to drop the battle is because this is a viral moment. You know how hard it is to get a viral moment? We might have had really, like, sincerely, like, four or five super viral moments in battle rap. Including, like, Loaded Lux, he gonna get this work. This is up there with that. This is actually more viral than Loaded Lux's situation. I mean, that was big for battle rap and helped it as a whole. But that shit wasn't on The Breakfast Club. That shit wasn't on Power 105. That shit wasn't on The Shave Room. Now, I understand it was 10, 15 years ago, but still. I'm hearing about this from everyone. My grandma, not my grandma, my auntie, auntie my great aunt calling me. What's up with that battle rap sh you be involved with? You got something? I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do with this. This shit ain't got nothing to do with me, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? My phone ringing from every direction. You brought them up to Fox. You knew. I'm like, nigga, I ain't no shit. I'm trying to get on TV, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, man? My phone been buzzing. I need this battle out. Put a little commentary in there, too. Can you put a little commentary at the end? Put that shit at the end. You can put me after the fucking credits roll. Avo, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you this video. Avo, I'm gonna send you this motherfucking video. Put some goddamn comments. <laughs> put me at the end of that shit, man. I want mine too. Goddamn it. Put mine. <laughs> put me at the end of that motherfucker. I was there. But uh, from a uh, like I said, from a public view standpoint, they crossed 100,000 subscribers. People is going to watch. It's messy. Remy's used to this. She's been in the industry forever. Um, but overall, you know what I'm saying, I just think it needs to come out. You know what I'm saying? Let the battle drop. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? This is the talk of the town. It's the topic. You can't even talk about anything else battle rap related right now. What else am I going to talk about? You want me to break down a battle? What battle? If I bring SP here, we break down a battle. Nobody going to even want to hear about it. They're going to be all in the comments talking about this shit, talking about this shit, talking about this shit. Grew legs and it's ran. You know, you know how many people? Do you know how many people... Remy and Chrome 23 is feeding right now? Like how many media outlets, how many bloggers, bro? There's people who I never even seen before. There's niggas who don't even have channels that's putting this shit up. Just grabbing a link to the fucking ground and putting that shit on their YouTube channel, doing two, three thousand views. Um, but that's battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Um, Geechee Gotti was still in New York, still running around. He interviewed with uh, 15 Minutes of Fame. They don't even know us, even in... Um, the Breakfast Club, they called it 15 Seconds of Fame. That shows you how insignificant battle rap and battle rap media is to the mainstream. Um, but he caught up with Geechee Gotti and he said Geechee Gotti had spoke to Rem. Rem was cool. She knew what the fuck it was. She, uh, she got the product that she wanted, you know what I'm saying? And it was what it was. At the end of the day, this shit is all about views, all about, you know, popularity, growth, uh, viral nature. Like, being viral, that's just the, see, the thing is, easy is the algorithm. Easy is the algorithm. He said that, he stood on that, he ran with that, that was his notion, that was his premise. I am the best in the world. Not the best in Philly, not the best in the Bronx. I am the best in the world. Wanted everyone to talk about him and he got what he wanted. I don't really see the issue. I don't understand why, whether you e-hive or e-block or e-pharmacy or, or e-trade or whatever the fuck you are, I don't understand what the emotion is in a battle result. We talk about all battles, we talk about the winners, we talk about the losers. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But I just can't feel how anyone, you know, really has a standing point. And I said this. Trust me. I said this when it happened. I said, Yo, if you lose this battle, whoever loses this battle, you know, niggas is going down with the ship. It's going to be talked about. It's going to be a big moment. I've never seen a battle in my life where one MC had a viral round and the other person won. That's all I'm saying. Let's start there. I've never seen it before. So, because if it was, if the other person won, why are they highlighting and encapsulating the other person's round? And I just felt like it was a huge mistake in that battle. I think the easiest, biggest mistake in that battle was going first. He chose to go first, which means that you choose to stand in front of whatever's the last material that's said. I feel like that's a big detriment. I watched the joint again. His first round was good. His third round was really solid. He had some shit in his third round. 
But you got to stand in front of what he's going to give you, and that's going to be the last thought, the last opinion, the last thing that's said. It's very hard. You have to literally smoke someone in your three rounds for him to have the last word, and we still like fuck it, that person won. So I really felt like that was something that, uh, in the game planning or the strategy of this battle, I think you should think about all things considered. That should have definitely been something that was pounded in from the beginning. If you win the coin toss, don't go first. I mean, everybody does things they way. Some people say, "Ho, oh, hey, yeah," and just take their coat off and start rapping. I seen Rock do it, and it was successful when he battled against Hollow the Don. Uh, what he said? They said I can't gun bomb the death, nigga. That that was it. But that was a motherfucking intro, though. That was probably one of the best. I'm a rap first I heard. They said I can't gun ball. Oh, took that coat. You didn't even take the coat off, man. You, you had the jersey. You should have the algorithm coat on. You should have came, took that motherfucking coat off. You snatched that room. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? You snatched that goddamn room. You understand what I'm saying, my nigga? You understand what I'm saying? Snatch, snatch the motherfucking room, nigga. You went from her to her, nigga. You can snatch the room. Get over here. And then the next time, snatch the room. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, shit, you, you gotta snatch the room, you gotta keep the room. Uh, I see a lot of people talking about Geechee you Gotti. I'm like, how did y'all not feel he was a formidable opponent? He done been everywhere. He done won at the highest level. He done did everything before. He was a very formidable opponent. I think a lot of people slept on Gotti because of some of the performances that he's had recently. You know what I'm saying? Like the Coffee Brown wasn't the best performance in the world and you drop another performance or two in there. Niggas think Gotti done lost some cut in his product. That nigga come around the corner and bust your ass. <laughs> Not saying you did that with easy, but I'm saying he come around the corner, he snipe you, and it's like, oh shit. Gotti could literally ask for 100,000 in his next battle and get it. Geechee Gotti could ask for 100,000 for his next battle and get it. Who's gonna say no? Somebody gonna pay him. I promise you they will. He can literally ask for 100. You know? Um, what else I got on here? Hitman, Hitman, Hitman. Salute to Hitman Holla. Uh, he dropped a receipt for 400000 from Max out. AARP, what the fuck y'all got going on over there, B? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. I know I still ain't spent my Max out money yet. I really haven't, because y'all pay 400 Call me back. Call, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go, nigga. I, what we gonna do? When we gonna have an event? When do you... <laughs> nah, in all seriousness, man, um... Shout out to Hitman Holland and all he's got going on, bags and bodies and all the things that he does. He took up for battle rap because mainstream media, when they caught this easy shit, they were saying that Remy fucking on a battle rapper and battle rappers don't even get paid. Saying that they get paid $200 in a Subway sandwich and Hitman came out and dropped that 400000 He dropped a brick on the table. That was my water, but fuck it. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? We, we far-fetched from the carpet. That nigga dropped a brick. That's how it was when it hit the table. It was a flood on the internet. Nigga drop 400 grand on the table like, nigga, fuck your water, fuck your daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga drop that brick on the table, man. Sometimes, but I know people trying to say, oh, it's a flex, it's a flex, but sometimes you gotta do that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta flex on haters, because I will tell you this, you know, a hater money spend the same way as a person who supports you. A hater money spend, a hater's money spends the same way as people who support you. Some people are going to show up to watch you do good. Some people are going to show up to watch you get run over by a car, but they're going to show up. Shout out to Prime. That's a quote from Dion. But yeah, they, they, they money spend the same. He put that brick on the table. Oh, 400. Now say we don't get paid. Now, I mean, you know, if they niggas getting that kind of money, SP, we're going to have to lace up. <laughs> we got to fucking lace up or something. We got to do a one round, two round or some shit. Three round, I battle that nigga. We have right, we write the shit together. Fuck. But now, um... Shout out to Hitman for that, because, you know what I'm saying, they was trying to definitely uh, go in on Battle Rap saying that they don't get paid, they ain't got no money, they broke, they eat Subway sandwiches, Subway. Damn, I think y'all niggas couldn't even say Jersey Mike, Subway, nobody eats that shit. <laughs> but uh, what I will say is uh, Battle Rap is a very lucrative business, I must say that, you know what I'm saying, like from the media to uh, the actual battlers to the leagues, they generating money. I promise you they generating money, you know. It's to the point where I pay people that work for me. I got a staff. I got like three or four people that work for me. You know what I'm saying? And they all get paid every month. And that's just from talking shit about battle rap. So I can only imagine what niggas is making that's actually in the joint. Now, if you ripped off, if you get ripped off, you signing them badass 360 deals where niggas is paying you $500 and a mega bus ticket, that's your personal business. But I know for a fact that people are getting bread. 
you will, you don't see me on no stream that I didn't get paid on. And I'm talking about thousands. You didn't see, you won't see me. You know what I'm saying? Because I can watch it at home. Because every time we go out into the streets and into the environments and into the neighborhoods, people know who we are. So you got to get paid for that. I don't go nowhere for free. Unap I, un I unapologetically don't go anywhere for free. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you if you have talent and if someone believes in it, they should invest in it. If they want you, they should make an investment. If it's not an investment, then what are we doing? You know what I mean? So um, battle rappers, media, and everything do make money. They, you think all these niggas would be sitting up here blogging every day if they wasn't making no money off the shit? Come on, like, think about that. But uh, viral round, Remy, drop the goddamn battle. Let that shit out. I don't know about who's sleeping with who or whatever the case may be. It, it does look away. I'm not gonna lie, it does look when the cameras is looking and they putting all these clips out and look look at the camera and look at the camera, it looks away. Y'all could have put y'all could have got in front of that. Y'all could have got in front of that rumor. Hey, I'm not listen, this is my employee, I'm not doing nothing with him, boo 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 boo. That's that. But yeah, and but you know what the weirdest thing? I was like, yo, I just seen him at the White House together like a week or so before. Was that shit in front? I don't yo, I try to stay away from it. Because it's 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 a lot. But it's battle rap, and niggas is gonna talk. And like I said, if the lie is more entertaining than the truth, then people are just gonna run with the lie. It is what it is, you know? That's the story. The story is Papoose put hands on this man at the event. The story is, that's what the story is. Y'all niggas know the story. Just because most motherfuckers don't say it or don't want to talk about it doesn't mean it's not the story. I'm sure Easy is gonna go live and he's gonna say what he's gonna do. He might shoot at some people and do the thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a battle at the end of the day. It's only two, three results. Win, loss, debatable. That's it. You know what I'm saying? There, now, I know some niggas will be like, oh, I got to go back and watch it again. I got to go back and watch it again. It's nothing but a cop-out. If the battle is not a battle that people really need to go watch again, then it's a fucking cop-out. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga be like, oh, I got to go watch it again. I gotta go. It's a cop-out. It's a niggas that don't want to admit that someone lost. I'm not that person. If somebody lost, they lost. Because I seen uh, Rosenberg Raw yesterday, you know, and shout out to him and everything that he's got going on. Uh, you know, they was talking about him online, saying that, oh, uh, what was the talk? Oh, him and Easy had kind of like fell out because he said that Geechee won the battle or whatever the case may be. And then some niggas were saying that uh, Rosenberg should have lied and just said like, yo, is it debatable or whatever the case may be? Because that was his, fr that's his friend. I said, let me tell you something. If you want to be in this game, and this is for anybody, anybody out there, if you're watching this and made it this far in the blog, if you're in this game, your values and your viewpoint and your picks and battles mean a lot. If niggas know they're gonna come on my channel and I'm gonna recap a battle and won't say a nigga lost because we friends, how do, how long you think that's gonna last? People gonna see right through that, that compromise. They're gonna see right through it. You can't do that, there's no cut on my product. I don't care who you are. Get your guys in my intro, easy to block captain was on Fox News with me. One of them was gonna lose and I was gonna be talking about it. I know that, I spent my life giving credit and props and love and admiration to battlers, bringing people on the show and shit like that. But if they lose, they know I, huh, I still got a job to do, period. And that don't, that don't change nowhere. Um, shout out to Showtime SP, shout out to Fox 5. We will be back real soon. Um, obviously, Geechee Gotti is coming up next. He's the algorithm. I mean, he's the algorithm, but you know, he's got viral Gotti, he's fucking viral. If they playing you around on midday radio, there ain't shit I can do about it. They want to look at the station. Get him up here now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but shout out to everybody out there, man. It's a great Friday. RiceGangClothing.com, man. The merchandise is working right. And it feels good, too, man. It feels good. Yeah. Remy, drop the battle. The streets want to see you. Hey, drop that motherfucker today. I got some time to play. Pick up your hands, bro. Nah, I'm fucking with you. But uh, yeah, drop that motherfucker, man. We wanna see that bitch. I wanna put that bitch up on the TV. You know what I'm saying? I wanna give you one of them four million views. You know, cause y'all knew what y'all was. Everybody knew what they were signing up for. We can't act oblivious to this. Y'all thought it wasn't gonna talk. See, the thing is, niggas be thinking because the disaster touched on it a little something. He came out with the Papu shirt that that was gonna be the end of it. Let's get this clear. We didn't count that shit. We don't count. We didn't count what he did. That battle was just. That battle, it was not what we wanted. We wanted that Perico. We knew, we knew the wrist, we knew his wrist was gonna be working when he came in the kitchen. Gotti came in there and cooked up the whole pot. But, shout out to Chrome, 
Got a lot of love for Remy Ma. She know what she signed up for. Easy to block captain does too. The details on the DL when I pre-fail, I still got the female. That's what he said, not me. But shout out to every single one of y'all motherfuckers out there. Gang, 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 you know, bang, rice, gang, clothing, dot com. You know what the fuck going on? I'm out. If he went from that to that, she.